Hi, my name is Anthony San Pietro. Um, I started coming to the Institute roughly four four years ago with Luciano San Pietro, my son, along with my father-in-law last year and this year, uh, Aaron Kong. Uh, my son uh, is a very active little guy, enjoys jujitsu, playing golf, running and playing like any normal little boy. And my father-in-law, up until about four years ago, uh, was a very active individual, uh, enjoying travel back and forth to his homeland of Cambodia, uh, working at his donut shop. We have a pretty great life in Los Angeles, California. He is a very friendly little boy, uh, very kind-hearted, has lots of friends, and uh, he has a twin sister and an older sister. Life for Luciano before we came to uh, the Stem Cell Institute for infusions was rough. I mean, nothing short of rough. I think he was frustrated, withdrawn, isolated. And that's a very tough thing for a parent to see. It's what goes from here to here, that's the problem. Or from here to here, right? With OT and just the motor skills and the fine motor skills. You know, I think he was frustrated, right? And so not being able to communicate is obviously a super frustrating thing. And so that resulted in tantrums and you know, uh, rigidity and also withdrawing, right? Because he didn't feel comfortable and he wasn't secure. And he didn't engage with his sisters almost at all, even his twin sister or his older sister. There was no engagement. Like, you know, he would never ask you anything. He always had to draw it out of them. It was almost non-existent. No eye contact, uh, not, not very social. And it was tough, very tough. Uh, we didn't know until he was diagnosed what the issue was. When we identified the issue, I told my wife that I know, I know where we're going. She agreed. And so obviously we went through the application process. We're approved, we came down to Panama. And I will tell you that the second day, uh, he went up to a little girl at the pool and introduced himself. And it's emotional to talk about, right? Because that was the first sign that he could have a normal life. Now, uh, he's far more secure. He's uh, verbal to a point where sometimes you just want to say, shh, shh, shh. Uh, um, he's inquisitive, he's kind, he's happy. He wants to play with his sisters, he wants to play with friends. He took a little kid who was almost in the dark, and I wouldn't say afraid, but uncomfortable in almost every situation. And now you have a child that's in the light that's comfortable in almost every situation. And that's life-changing for him his sisters and his parents. I think now he is on his way to streamlining into society and education. And then last year we brought him down, uh, we saw a monster leap. Uh, I will tell you in conversations with his ABA instructors, his speech, his OT, and you know, even his teacher that we had a cons uh, uh, end of the year conference with this past year, you know, they all said this is really the age where they see the, 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 the gap widen. And they didn't see that with him. They saw the gap narrowing. So obviously these are huge, huge, huge uh, events in life, you know, and this has been paradigm shifting and life changing for us. And after the Stem Cell Institute, my wife has a life again. Uh, you know, she's, you know, running around a lot with his therapies and, and the, you know, the, the other girls and their soccer and their basketball and the Jiu Jitsu and all of it. So it's crazy, but it's, it's a good crazy. So my experience here at the clinic has been nothing short of fantastic. It's been fabulous. Uh, from the second someone at the desk greets you to the nurses and the techs and the doctors are just phenomenal. Everybody is understands, you know, the uncomfortableness. People put your mind at ease. People make you feel comfortable. They understand the fears and the anxiety mostly, not just in the child, which there's a lot, right? But also the anxiety in the parent. Aaron Kong is Luciano's grandfather, was diagnosed with kidney failure. And the physicians were talking to him about dialysis, potential kidney transplant. They're also, he was always tired, he was always cold. Um, and so I talked to my wife and we filled out the application for aging and frailty. We brought him down for his first visit last year. Uh, six months after, uh, he was off all of his kidney meds after the first visit. Office kidney meds, had more energy, wasn't cold anymore, and actually 
Last month, went to Cambodia by himself to visit his family and friends for a month all by himself, which would have been, would have been unheard of uh, two years ago. When I started to see the results with Luciano, I said to myself, wow, if things continue to go well at the company, I'm gonna go myself. And then after the last visit with Luciano and my father-in-law, Aaron Kong, uh, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm next. First I offered to my wife, she said, well, you're more broken down than me, so you go first. Uh, and so I signed up and, you know, I have degenerative back, uh, disc disease, degenerative neck disc disease, um, diverticulosis, um, a lot of aches and pains and, and uh, you know, just from all the, the things I did in my youth, right? Uh, and so I said, I think it's time. And fortunately also last year, I started to suffer from tennis elbow here, golfer's elbow, and then had, I don't know, it wasn't really diagnosed as carpal tunnel, but a, a lot of inflammation in my hands and couldn't make a fist in the morning. But also we talked to the orthopedic surgeon about, you know, injections in my elbows and in my hands. So again, I have high hopes for, for all of those things. I would say anybody who's looking to come visit Panama, uh, I know you might have some insecurities about coming to Central America. Central, if you read a little bit about Panama, you quickly understand that it's Switzerland, of Central and South America. The banking system is robust. The Panama Canal is obviously a strategic importance. And so the streets are safe. The area, you never feel uncomfortable ever. The food is fantastic. Uh, you can get an Uber in English if you wish to Old City where you feel like you're in Miami Beach. But the city has a tremendous amount to offer. So I, I think that I'm sharing the story uh, because I've seen it, what it's done for my son. <clears throat> and you see so many children with autism that you know, not diagnosed, you know, are diagnosed too late, not diagnosed early enough. And so if I can help, create a pathway to, to even help another child, even one, then that's a good thing. Don't walk, run. It'll be life-changing.